I'm going to show you how to create an animated book cover. Here is the book cover for the an Anna, Anne of Green Gables book. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into an animated cover. Uh, we're going to do this using two different programs. Uh, we're going to use Photoshop first, and we're going to rip this image apart. And then we're going to import each layer and um, into Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to open the JPEG image uh, in Photoshop and so you can see I've got a whole bunch of things here and basically what we're going to do is we're going to break it down into different components like her hair, her arms, a cloud, that's different, uh, grass, uh, her dress, basically anything we want to move independently from anything else we're going to tear out of the scene. So uh, when I open it in Photoshop you can see I have it here as a background and we're going to start by um, removing just her hair from that. So I'm going to zoom in with my zoom tool which is down here on her head and I'm going to use this tool right here if uh, if you have the magic wand you can push it hold on it we want the quick selection tool right now it's really huge I'm gonna bring that down dial it down to maybe uh, an 8 uh, let's go smaller let's say a 5 or a 4 I'm gonna make sure that I've got the um, the plus selected which is the middle of these three things up here and then I'm just gonna start doing this dragging it over top of each part as I get to this finer detail in her hair I'm gonna reduce my brush size Maybe down even to a one while I do the last bit of her hair here and here. Oh, and I've made a mistake. I've grabbed her whole head. I'm just going to say undo and I'll just try clicking one little part at a time. See if I can. Oh, edit undo. Actually, it doesn't matter. This is good enough. Uh, and I'm just going to remove her ear. So I'm going to push this on the minus here and we don't want her ear to be part of the selection. So there's her hair. I'm just going to say edit copy, edit paste, and it'll paste her hair over top of where it already is. If I turn the background layer off, you can see there's her hair in its own layer, but I'm going to turn that layer off and we're just going to go back to the background. So anything that we want to move, like her dress or the grass, we have to pull it out into its own layer. So let's just go back here into Photoshop again, and I'm going to zoom out just a bit. So I can see her whole dress. Now I'm going to select her dress using the same quick selection tool. Make sure the background layer is selected down here. I'm going to make this brush bigger again, maybe uh, an 8 this time. Oh, and right now I need to make sure it's on the plus up here. Now I don't want to select the basket. And I'm going to try and see if I can make sure that I oh, edit undo. I'm going to make my brush smaller. Get the finer detail here. Oh, and I made a mistake again. That's quite common, and you just have to be patient. So we're getting a bit more of it here. So I'm getting this white area here. I'm just going to use, I'm going to click and hold on that. I'm going to use my magic wand tool, and this right here means subtract from selection, and I'm going to subtract the white area from my selection, and I'm going to go back to my quick selection tool again and I'm also going to subtract all this fuzzy stuff up here. Okay. Um, and we don't want the basket. Subtract anything we don't want. Now if we get a big bit of the basket it doesn't really matter. And I'll show you why in a second. Perfect. So we say edit copy, edit paste, and you can see, if I turn off the background layer, we have a dress layer as well as hair layer now. So we're starting to pick apart everything we want to animate. I'm going to turn off my hair, turn off that dress I just did. And lastly, we're going to do the grass. Same way, quick selection tool. Choose a brush, brush size. You might make mistakes along the way. Just remember you can undo. Or if you want to go back farther than that, you can just say edit step backwards. Here we go. Let's try the grass. And I'm getting this white thing up here, so I'm going to subtract that. Oops. Ah, I see the problem. I have the wrong layer selected. I need my background layer selected. Not bad.
bad. Okay, I'm going to subtract out this white area here using the magic wand tool. So back to the mag magic wand tool, I have it on subtract up here, which is this one, subtract from selection. Let's subtract the white out because we don't need that. You can see we still have some marching ants up here, and we'll get rid of those in a second. We also have her boots. I could try the magic wand on the boots, see if that helps. Mm, it's a bit too blotchy, so you know. So I'm going to use my lasso tool. I'm going to go here to the polygonal lasso tool. I have it on subtract from selection again, and uh, I'm going to just subtract out her feet, just like that. So I draw a shape around her feet, and now they're removed from the selection. I'll do the same with the marching ants up here. And I'll get her boot down here at the same time. So we're going to subtract all of this from our selection just like that. And it's gone. So we have a good portion of the grass here. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Edit copy. Edit paste. And if I turn off the background layer, you can see I've got the grass. It's starting to look pretty good. Um, here's what I'm going to do to this layer. Because there was a sticker over here, I'm going to use my eraser tool. And I'm going to sort of blot out a bit of that, make it sort of fade away. Right now I have a ginormous brush. Brush. I'm going to bring that down to maybe a size 20, and I'm going to make it very soft. So 100% is hard, and all the way zero is soft, and what soft means is it, it sort of gives that powdery look there to the edges, and that I think looks nice. There we go. And we go over here, that looks good. If you want, we can Get rid of her, there's some leftover brown from her boots. Get rid of that. And okay, that looks great. Let me do the next part. So let's look back at the animation here. You can see uh, something we're going to have to do now is, you notice her dress moves, moves but it doesn't um, cover up her basket or her flowers. So what we need to do is remove both of these arms and create a new layer for them as well. So I'm going to turn the grass off, turn her back on, make sure I select the background layer this time. And we make it its own layer. Edit copy, edit paste. Okay, so I've I've pulled out each layer that I'm going to animate, um, and what we're going to do next is save each layer as an individual picture. Let me zoom out so you can see what I'm going to do here. So uh, I'm going to turn off my background layer. I'm going to turn off everything but her hair, and that's the first thing I'm going to save. I'm going to, uh, you can see right now this is all transparent. And there are only several types of picture files that save transparency. And so what we're going to do is we're going to choose File and Save for Web and Devices because they'll allow us to save it as a PNG file. So up here, um, I can choose GIF, JPEG, PNG. We're going to choose a PNG 24. It lets us keep the transparency, which is what we need. And we're going to say Save. Uh, now you should make yourself a folder. Uh, to put these all in, I'm going to make one on my desktop, and I'm going to call it Anne of Green Gables, and I'm going to call this Hair. I'll turn off that layer. Next, we'll do the dress. File. Save for web and devices. Save. Oh, sorry. I'll just step back a sec. You can see it's already selected as a PNG. It's saving transparency. I can push save. Call this one dress. I'll turn that off. Background. Okay, we're done the Photoshop part. Now we're going to move into Flash. So I'm going to make a new action script 3. Here we go. And you can see right now I have a, a layer up here. The first thing I'm going to do is say edit file, import, import to stage. Remember this white area down here is your stage, just like on the screen. Now I save my work on my desktop, 
you probably saved it somewhere else. I'm going to start by bringing in the background, and we'll say import. And you can see by default it puts it over here on the left part of our stage. That's fine for now. Up here we're going to double click and rename this layer to background. Now we're going to create a new layer. This is the new layer button here. And anything, any layer that goes above it is on top of the previous layer. So let's start um, by file import to stage. You can see I have layer two selected here. Before I did that, we're going to bring in her, the, uh, let's do the grass. And you'll notice that you can't really tell a change here, but if I turn off the background layer by clicking right here, you can see, ah, there's the grass. Now we're going to bring in the next layer. So new layer. Oh, I forgot to rename this one. I should rename it grass. It's important to rename all your layers, especially when you have a lot of them, so you can quickly tell which layer is which. Uh, file, import, to stage. Let's get her hair. Oh, no, let's do the dress. So if I turn off these two layers, you can see there is the dress. And I'll scroll up a bit. Let's rename the layer. Dress. Remember, new layer file import okay so we're ready to animate um, we're our video is uh, 12 frames per second video and um, let's make this a two second animation uh, we're gonna start by clicking on the grass layer and we're going to make it two seconds if it's 12 frames per second that means we need to go all the way to the 24th frame and I'm going to insert a keyframe there now you'll see everything else disappeared, not to worry. When we add keyframes in for those parts, they'll all reappear. Okay, let's make our grass move. We'll start it in its original position, but by frame six, let's insert another keyframe, and we're going to move it slightly to the left. I can do this just by tapping the arrow keys on my keyboard. I'm going to tap it five times. Then... Let's go to the 12th frame and insert another keyframe. And now we'll move it back five steps to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And now we'll go six frames forward again. So the 18th frame, insert keyframe. And I'm going to keep going to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And then by the 24th frame, it'll be back to where it originally started. So here's what we have now. If I just jog this around at the top, you can see it pops there to the left, pops back to the middle, pops to the right, pops back to the middle. To make this smooth, we have to insert motion tweens, so just right click between each keyframe, right click, insert motion tween, right click, insert motion tween, create motion tween, sorry, create motion tween, and now, as I jog around, you'll see, oh, nice smooth moving grass. Let's do her dress now. Let's start off by going to the 24th frame and inserting a keyframe. So you can see keyframe 1 and keyframe 24 for her dress is going to be the same. Uh, let's do the same thing. So on frame 6, we're going to insert a keyframe. Now, it's not necessarily likely that her dress would move with the same exact motion as the grass. So instead of going to the left 5, let's go to the left 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's insert another keyframe here. And let's go back. Instead of seven, let's go back um, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Another keyframe here. Insert keyframe. Let's keep going to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this one will put it back in the original position. If we create a motion tween. Again, for each one, just the same as last time. No new skills, just the same, repeated. And now we have her dress moving and the grass moving as I jog around. Okay, we're going to uh, animate her hair now. We're going to do this slightly differently than how we did the other ones because we can't just move it back and forth or it'll look like her hair is flying off her head. So let's um, just turn off every other layer by clicking down this column with the eye in it. So we're turning off every layer except for her hair. And I'm going to click that layer. I'm going to right-click on her hair and say Convert to Symbol. Right 
hair in this box. Okay, now we're going to go, um, we're going to use the transform tool over here. And so instead of moving it left and right, we're going to stretch it out and back. But before I do that, I'm going to right click over here on frame 24, insert a keyframe, right click on frame 6, insert my keyframe, let's stretch it out. Right click, insert a keyframe, stretch it back. And to stretch it back to its original position, if I just line up um, the black line here with the white part of the stage there, it'll go back to its original position. Right click here, insert a keyframe, let's stretch it out again. We could stretch it farther or less far this time. Don't be um, too extreme or it'll look very strange. So just a little bit and then it'll go back to its original position here. And again, insert motion tween, insert motion tween, insert motion tween, insert motion tween. So now we have, if I turn back on my other layers, you'll see we've got a dress and the grass animating as I jog along here. Okay. Lastly, let's do the arms. Now these are easy. All we have to do is insert a keyframe at frame 24 and what that'll do is make sure that her arms stay over top of the dress as the dress moves around. Just like that. And lastly, again with the background, we just insert a keyframe at frame 24. And we have our finished product. If I go to control and test movie, You'll see I have hair blowing in the wind, grass moving around, and a dress back and forth. If, now at this point you could really get, uh, originally you could ask, uh, create clouds floating by, anything you want, just by adding it to another layer and animating it in a similar way. So have fun and make it uh, your own individual animation.